celebrate Africanness at Africa Day right here on the Feel Good Breakfast Show. And all in the name of making sure that we do it on the highest note, we have to go to something that we consume each and every day, right? And by that, I am talking about the content that we see on our screens, on our laptops, absolutely everywhere. And someone who is making sure that we are entertained, honey. Her name is Wanga Ramuhuyu. And today, this is a queen that is going to be taking us through what it means to truly be African in and everything that you do, even the content that you create. She's one of the biggest content creators when it comes to lifestyle and fashion and essay. And also, she is somebody who truly brings in that African vibe that we absolutely love. Let's show how she absolutely shows her Africanness. <laughs> She's a queen. Oh, come on, everybody. Let's give her a feel good breakfast show. Welcome. Oh, Beautiful like Wanga, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you, I'm good, here. thank you, gorgeous. I'm so excited to be sitting here with you, especially because we're celebrating Africa Day, right? But I also love the fact that you're one of the biggest plus size influencers in South Africa on TikTok. So, talk to me about this. Where did the journey begin? I've always known that I had a message to share. Aww. I just simply didn't know how to do it. And TikTok came up with the Level Up program that helped all of us creators find our, our way mm -hmm. and our feet. And through that, I was able to come up with a strategy that works. Come on. Yeah. Spoken like a true influencer marketing <laughs> specialist. Thank you very much. But babe, you're inspired by your love for Africa. And of course, that even led to your own fashion line, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Well done on that because you make such beautiful pieces. Thank but you. I need to ask you, you know, just talk Talk to us about the importance of really representing Africa and why it was so important for you to go in that direction. I just feel like it's important to know our heritage and our roots. Mm. And the fact that Africa Month brings us all together in collaboration is beautiful. Yeah. The app has allowed us all to collaborate with each other, comment on each other's videos, yeah. stitch them, duet them. And the fact that Africa Month is such an inspiring thing for all of us all. And what are some of your favorite like videos that you've seen in the name of Africa Month? Who there are quite a few, hey? Yeah. I have to mention mine. Oh, yes, girl, that's right. <laughs> I have yes. to mention mine, but there's also a few that I've seen from, like, Kalimi Sim Simpiwe. Mm -hmm. She did a few makeup looks inspired by Africa. Yes. And that is one of my other favorite videos. I love yeah. that. And, of course, a fashion girly loving makeup. That's not surprising. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, babe, I love that TikTok has also just really shown you just how appreciated you are in the sense of, you know, the creating that you do. Mm -hmm. So, speaking to me about this because back-to-back -back campaigns with TikTok, honey, where you have even been participating in one where you had a fashion look with a thousand years from now. Speak to me about that. Oh, that concept was so interesting. Mm -hmm. so I had to come up with how fashion would look like a thousand years from now. Uh -huh. I did try to put in a fashion element and add the fact that there'll be technology and we'll be inclined with galaxies. Mm -hmm. But I know that a lot of trends are going to come back in a thousand years from now. So that was definitely fun. And we always see fashion coming back, like the leggings. Exactly. And the, I mean, even the waistcoats that you're wearing yeah. now, that was like from what, the 1980s or 70s, something like that. Yeah. I love that. You you see, this is why you're a true fashion girly. Mm -mm. Purr. Purr. <laughs> but babes, another one where you educated your audience, you know, just on a few things when it comes to, you know, what they might not know about in terms of being a little bit stylish. Speak to us about that one. Well, Africa has so many beautiful uh, cultures mm. that all have their own type of style. Yeah. And if you notice, all the cloths and all the different things that we wear is definitely one of the things that I wanted to educate my followers on. Mm. So if you see on the No Africa campaign that I recently participated in, I added a few did you know aspects. Yeah. The fact that we have about... 2,000 languages in the continent. Oh. Like, a lot of things that I feel like some, some people didn't know. So. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, you see? Yeah. So I just feel like some people need to appreciate Africa more. I and that's what that. I tried to do in this content. And, and that's the thing. I, I feel like you're doing it so well and so organically as well, which is amazing. Thanks. But I want to know, in the beginning, beginning, was it always now where you are, where you wanted to be? Or, like, are you also just like, oh, I can't believe that this is me right now? Oh, my word. I literally feel like everything is a dream. Yeah. Every single day, things unfold, and 
grace after grace. I'm like, what Aww. is going on? I just love the growth and it's so inspiring. It just keeps me going. Oh, I love it. And babe, yeah. you're inspiring so many of us. So please keep going because your journey is beautiful to watch. Thank you so much. But you know that we are celebrating Africa Month tomorrow, which is why we had to have you here. Mm -hmm. But then I want to ask you, and especially for all the young ones who are out there watching, mm -hmm. what does being African actually mean to you as Wanga Ramuhu? Whew. So being African to me just brings me back to the proudness that I am to be born in this continent. I mean, mm. how beautiful is it to be part of this heritage yeah. and knowing that we're liberated and diverse? Like, how beautiful is it to know that you are one of so many and mm. you come together to just bring a united front so i just love being african right that's what i said earlier yeah. on i said uh, the thing that makes me most proud is the people and also how we're able to unite it's so beautiful exactly shout out to you my wanga for being one of the people who's allowing us to celebrate being african in such a beautiful way and in yeah. such a different way and yeah. happy africa day for tomorrow yay. yay you see it is all about africa honey because we are all African and it is all about celebrating it in the best way, which is why we have peeps like Wanga in the building. We still got so much more coming up right here on your feel good breakfast show. But for now, hi my beautiful Cape Town family, what's going on?